Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, Vivi Cooks, and welcome back to another vlog. Like, it's so hard to do this video without like, uh, I'm jumping all over the place, mainly because I'm very excited about the topic I'm about to talk about, you know? So yeah, this video has been highly, 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 highly requested and I'm so excited to finally like be doing this but yeah in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my skincare journey and how I've been able to clear my skin and also my skincare routine at the moment just walk you guys through the process so if you're interested please keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let me give you guys a bit of context and like background story, you know, about my skin and where I was and where I'm at now, all of that stuff. Basically, my journey. Growing up, I've always had pretty good skin. Pretty good skin in the sense that I haven't really dealt with like bad acne or like cystic acne or like my skin hasn't been like at a very terrible state. But yeah, I've had like breakouts pimples spots whatever you call it i've always had like you know a bit of it on my face probably when it's that time of the month or when i'm reacting to food or a product or when i'm under stress my skin tends to break out but then after a while like once i use products my skin reacts to the products i use and then it clears up but then one thing i would like to also say is you know that your skin changes and also the products that used to work for you at a certain time might not work for you at another time when i came back to nigeria i don't know if it's the weather but the products that used to work for me back in cyprus were not really working as much because my skin became dull my um, hyperpigmentation that cleared out because of the products i was using before came back i had sunburn although i would also blame myself because i wasn't really using spf because spf makes me sweat i'm not even going to come on here and say oh oh, oh. spf makes me sweat so much and normally i have combination skin so wearing spf just kind of it makes my face so freaking oily and like so sweaty and it's very uncomfortable so most times I would skip that step which wasn't a good thing because I had sunburn eventually so even if you're light-skinned or dark-skinned please use SPF try to get one that is good that it that is a bit matte doesn't really like sweat you out because if not sunburn in this country is deep upon returning and you know the products I used to use were not really working for me as much and I wanted to order new products and I just couldn't really like risk spending a lot of money buying skincare and then it not working so yeah about two three months ago a certain brand called mira skincare reached out to me i think they saw one of my posts complaining about my skin or something like that so they reached out to me and they gave me a range of products to try assuring me that these products were going to transform my skin and i said i was going to give a review they said yes no problem like if you like the products let them know if you do not like it let them know this is also like a mark for us to you know do better so i was like okay no problem i will try the products and i'll let you guys know so right now i'm about to run you through all the products and insert videos of me using them so you can have an idea of how i use them and how it worked for me okay okay <laughs> so guys the first product i'm going to be talking to you guys about is their black soap this thing was huge when i got it like it was huge and this is what it looks like right now guys i'm actually crying i want a new one this is by far my second favorite product out of the range of products i got mainly because um this has helped my skin a lot. It has helped fade my spots. I mean, that time of the month when I have spots here and there, most times it leaves like a little black dot and this has helped a lot in fading it. This has also helped my hyperpigmentation. I mean, you can see for yourself like, <laughs> but like for real, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I'm not wearing any makeup at the moment. I just have a bit of lip gloss and nothing else, just my face. <laughs> Obviously, I moisturize with the morning cream, so that is what I have on. This bar soap, it is called the Black Soap. And what this did for me was 
it brightened my skin I'm going to show you my chest so you can see that it's nothing overbearing some people fear that you know when they say when it says brightening it's going to bleach you out or it's going to make you extremely light I thought the same because I spoke to the people in charge and I told them I don't need any products to bleach me out I don't want to bleach I just want my skin to glow I just want it to be bright and radiant and let me just pull down my total neck so you guys can see how it blends well with my skin I am dark skin right but I feel like I lean towards the caramelish um, what they call group yeah I lean towards the caramelish group so I have like all my siblings are light skin so for me I am dark skin but then I'm also like caramelish before I started using their products my face was way darker than my neck and my chest but like right now my face blends perfectly with my chest like I'm so happy right now this is actually my go-to soap I use this in the morning and then I also use this at night before I sleep one thing I know I do is I wash my face two times at least two times a day I do it I try my best not to forget except maybe I am not home and I don't have my products with me maybe I can pass off for the night but I make sure that I use my soap two times a day about this soap whenever I use it on my face I use it I how to use it is basically wet your face first of all and then you kind of apply it on your face you then leave it for five minutes like you don't just wash it immediately you leave it for five minutes kind of dry on your face and then you go ahead to wash it and yo the way your skin will feel after washing the soap off your face yeah just try it and let me know because like mm -mm, mm -mm, sister yeah yeah and so after using the soap and washing it off my face i go ahead to use a mist before i use the next product i'm about to tell you guys about so basically the mist is just to kind of bring my skin back to its regular ph balance just get my skin to be you know a bit cooler so after i use a mist i go on with my mirror skincare moisturizing day face cream so this is what it looks like and let me show you how much i have used from this product can you imagine can you see like i'm halfway already you know i told you this the soap was my second favorite this is my favorite product you know i complained earlier about like spf making me very oily and made me very uncomfortable i would sweat unnecessarily even when i have makeup on oh my goodness nah this product has spf 40 and that means it's a two-in-one for me so i don't have to use any spf that is why this is my favorite product from their range because i've not had any sunburn like since my old sunburn cleared up i haven't had any new sunburn and i've been using this cream non-stop every single freaking day like i'm not even joking and small goes a long way so i just use like a pea-sized amount and i rub it and apply it on my skin so i just use this and i rush out my door even though yes i like to take care of my skin i kind of don't like the many steps routine so yeah, i'm going to be doing a demo at the back of my hand so you guys can see like how it is so this is when you like you see how that small amount goes a long way so just imagine this is my face like it's so soothing and then i massage it till it turns clear so at first when you put it, it's a bit white but then you have to massage it on your skin and then it turns clear. in fact it's never you can never put too much day cream on your face can you you can never do too much so yeah I kind of just like go this way and use it on my skin and my forehead as well. My eyes. Wow, who is this fine girl? Who is this Asam Piti? Asamwa. I be Asamwa. Good, my evil is like suffering. 
so yeah this has helped to smooth out my skin this has also helped in preventing future sunburn so i've not had any sunburn since i started using this product like i've not had not even one encounter of sunburn since i started using this product and one thing i can say is i feel like it has taken me back by like a few years but yeah a few people have actually told me that oh viv you're looking younger by the day i'm just like really i mean i see it too don't you guys see it i mean like if you watch my old videos maybe you'd see it because me i see it so definitely you have that baby girl glowing looking skin with this morning cream so yeah the next product i'm going to be talking about is the anti-aging lightening face cream and this is what i put on my face before i go to bed at night so this is basically um the night cream it has brightening agents included in it i use this twice a week so other nights when i don't use this i just alternate with my um, what's it called my scent eyes collagen face cream anytime i don't use this i use that but i use this two times a week because it has some brightening agents which has helped to brighten my skin and that is why i absolutely love this product this would have to be my third favorite or fourth probably fourth that's pretty much it so moving on to my body i'm going to be sharing with you guys two products that um, i have used and i absolutely love just one and i'm going to be telling you guys why so first off i'm going to be talking about their body scrub so this is their body scrub it's still like heavy because i haven't used much of it and i have mixed feelings about it because i am dark skin in the caramelish group <laughs> i try not to use products that would bleach me out this didn't really work for me because i noticed that it started making my body lighter than i wanted it to be so i stopped using this so definitely if you're lighter then this is for you and then oh this is about to finish whoa i need to reel okay and finally last but not the least is their body lotion which i absolutely love the only thing is i use this with a bit of body oil mainly because body wise my skin is extremely dry like body wise but from here up i have combination skin but from here down my body is really i have really dry skin so this body lotion is infused with oats spf shea butter almond vitamin e castor oil and some other goodness and that is why i don't even joke with it like i feel like it's somewhere around here right now like i use it religiously morning afternoon night if i shower 10 times a day which i don't i use this but that is just to tell you that this i don't skip this from my body routine at all because it has actually i've seen a difference with my skin but this is the consistency this is what it looks like and um let me also massage it at the back of my hand so you guys can see it is moisturizing i would say so you just have to rub it for okay it's pretty much good so um it smells really nice as well i love the smell so um this is what it is moisturizing but because i have extreme dry skin i tend to just like use it with my body oil or i use it with my shea butter and i'm good to go so guys that pretty much concludes this video i hope you guys learned one or two things i'm going to be leaving all the links to these products in the description box whenever you buy them send me a picture i definitely know that once you use this product your skin game is about to change and to be honest i hope they don't sell out because they sell out pretty quick so i hope you guys don't go and buy everything and i don't have some left but i mean it's okay there's love in sharing so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i would see you guys in my next